Today I will explain how to earn war funds and heroes and generals. War funds are in-game currency, which are earned by playing war battles, or participating in war with your assault teams. There are two types of war fund earnings. First one is earned by soldiers and the second one by generals. Now I will explain how a soldier earns war funds. A soldier earns war funds by playing a war battle and by performing some specific actions in the game. These specific actions include capturing and neutralizing objectives, which gives you war funds, between 120 and 180 for each capturing and neutralizing an objective. Raiding and defending objective kills also gives you 20 war funds for each kill. Winning a war battle gives 150 war funds. And if you have veteran membership then you will get 75% more war funds. Killing enemy infantry outside objectives will not give you any war funds. Destroying enemy vehicles, and giving squad orders. Let it be any actions apart from mentioned above you will not earn war funds for anything. Only soldiers in this game, can create or earn war funds. I know you are thinking about generals, what about them right? Generals don't earn or create war funds. For generals, war funds are finite in numbers. They can only be transferred from one general's pocket to another. Let me explain what I'm saying. For example you are a general or a soldier with assault teams. Now you have sent them into a battle. Your AT now is being used in that battle, so when a player is using your AT's resources, and gets some kills, and destroys enemy vehicles, let's say that, that player got one infantry kill, and destroyed one jeep in the whole match using your resources. So at the end of the battle you will receive 40 war funds for each infantry kill, plus 30 war funds for destroying each terrain vehicle, that is equal to total of 70 war funds player whose 80's resources have been killed and destroyed by your AT, have lost 70 war funds from the amount of war funds, he had put in for deploying, or resupplying his assault team. In simple ways the war funds got transferred, from the the lost 80's player to the one who destroyed them. Remember I said earlier, that you as a soldier inside a battle will not earn any war funds, by destroying enemy vehicles, but the player whose assault team, you are using to destroy will surely get war funds from your actions. This is the full chart, where you can see the war fund, cost of each resource type individually. Highest war funds are awarded for destroying heavy fighter. So the big question comes, what is the best way to earn war funds? The answer is simple. For a individual player playing in the battle, just keep capturing and neutralizing objectives with maximum raiding and defending kills, in this way you will earn the most war funds. For generals aspect just keep your ATs engaged in active war battles in the generals tab. There is a small secret for you guys, to earn maximum war funds. Imagine if you join exactly the same battle, in which you have your own assault team. Just do it. Hope I made you understand how, war funds work in heroes and generals. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box. That's all for today. <laughs> Subscribe for more Heroes and Generals videos. Thanks for watching.